So La Crema's original name was La Crema Viniera, the best of the vine. Our winemaking philosophy is not to try and force a style. It's really to let those very distinctive vineyard sites speak for what they are. We are trying to pass on to our consumers the very best of the vine. Back in 1979, La Crema really was one of the pioneers of cool climate Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. La Crema started at a time when people just didn't understand. It was considered somewhat of a pipe dream to go after Pinot Noir. A lot of the Pinot Noir at the time was planted in the wrong places, farmed poorly for the grape type, and then made like Cabernet. They did everything wrong. They didn't know they were doing everything wrong. The first year was so fascinating. We were limited by finances and the inability to buy large pieces of equipment. We had a concept. It was going to be Burgundian varieties. It was all about what the grapes yielded. The Pinot Noirs came out and they didn't carry the old California characteristics of, of stewed tomatoes and rubber tires, and I think that got people excited. They made some great wines, and then ownership changed. They lost their original vision and started making some large, large California appellated blends that were not really their original inspiration. When we first looked at purchasing La Crema. My father-in-law, Jess Jackson, was really positive about it. He remembered its initial start. It was one of the first wineries to specialize in Pinot Noir in California. We purchased the winery, taking their original idea back to where it all started. We're just really proud of our, our success, but our legacy that started with Jess. My husband, Don Hartford, really helped to establish that. And then my sister, Laura jackson Jerome, who's been an amazing ambassador for La Crema Wines, and she and her husband, Rick Jerome, have been out in the market and promoted the wines for decades now. It really was something to see, that groundswell of popularity. We have had just amazing talent behind the reputation of La Crema, starting with Rod Berglund, and now we have Craig McAllister, Eric Johansson, and Jen Walsh. The Russian River is a very special appellation, and La Crema has used grapes from it from its inception, and it really does tell the story of, of the Russian River. We have a commitment to small batch, hands-on winemaking. We separate every vineyard parcel that comes into the winery. And that small batch, hands-on approach does take more work. It's not as easy as full automation, but it's how we build character. It's how we are able to pass that quality on to the consumer. I hope for when our consumers open and taste our wines, it's the sense that they've returned home to something that they know, trust, and love so much. Sometimes people gauge success by the number of cases you sell. At La Crema, I think we're really trying to gauge success by the number of people who love our wines. The name La Crema implies the best of the best. That is the universal appeal of what makes La Crema so special to so many people. What I hope that the future holds for La Crema is that we, we continue to be a leader, that we continue to build on this 40-year this history that we have and to retain our place in the home and hearts of, of wine drinkers throughout the world. <laughs>